Let's pray together. Only Jesus. Only Jesus is everything I need. Christ is enough for me. I am thankful just as I am today. time all together. Jesus is everything I need. Though I Jesus Christ is enough for me, and Jesus is everything I need. He is perfect, He is enough for me, and Jesus is everything that I need. of Jesus Christ is enough for me and Jesus is everything that I need for the grace of Jesus Christ is enough for me and Jesus is everything that I need Wake up, remnants. Okay. When we praise, what do we do, guys? What do we do when we praise? Wow. You guys are so smart. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys one more time. When we praise, what do we do? Wow. Two for two. Let's go for three for three. When we praise, what do we do? Thank you. Okay. Now let's pray. Okay, now we're going to pray, okay? Let's close our eyes, let's fold our hands. God, break down all the force of darkness at this time. May the hearts of the remnants uh, be able to connect with you during this time of worship. Uh, may we be able to uh, experience the power uh, that is in the gospel, the power that is in your name, the power that is in your word, Lord. During this time, uh, may the remnants be able to receive, uh, see the answer of Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing. May they be able to come to the time of worship. May they be able to come to face you. May they be able to come to stand before you, uh, holding on to only Jesus. We thank you for all these things. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right. Okay.
bless one another. Everyone stand up. <laughs> you know what I hear? This is what I hear. All right, come on, bless one another. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's have some victory, okay? Let's pray this together. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. All right, here we go. One, two. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I have victory over my worries. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. In the name of Jesus, I have victory. I have my Jesus in my heart. He'll never leave me, never depart. He is there to protect me. He is there to direct me. Here we go. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I have victory over my worries. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. C-T-O-R-Y In the name of Jesus I have victory From the top B-I-C-T-O-R-Y I have victory over my worries B-I-C-T-O-R-Y In the name of Jesus I have victory I have my Jesus in my heart. He'll never leave me, never depart. He is there to protect me. He is there to direct me. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I have victory over my worries. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. In the name of Jesus, I have victory. In the name of Jesus, I have victory. In the name, in the name of Jesus, I have victory. Amen. All right, wonderful job, guys. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do it so loud. Okay, I want you guys to do it so loud so that. There's a remnant that's sleeping during worship, okay? That's a, that's a, that's a missed time schedule remnant right there that, that just fell asleep, right? I want you guys to declare it, your wonderful praises to God, and ask God to wake someone up, okay? You guys got it? All right, here we go. Deep down, here we go. Here we go. One, two, deep. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down, oh, sudden, you first. Oh, deep down in my heart, deep, deep, deep. Deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down. All right, Isaiah. Oh, nice. Deep down in my heart. All right, Caleb. Do you love your Jesus deep down in your heart? Beautiful voice. Do you, all right, that was better than last time. Do you, do you love your Jesus? Addison, Miss Black Belt, go. Okay, deep down in my heart from the top, deep. Deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down. Kingdom. Kingdom. That's you, Lydia. 
Do you love your Jesus deep down? All right, Lydia. I'll give I'll give you one more try. That was so good up until the last part. All right, one more time. Do you love your Jesus deep down in your Lydia? Go. All right, Lydia, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna skip you now. Deep down in my heart, Emma, here we go. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart, Emma. Oh, deep down in my heart, do you, do you love your Jesus? Deep down, everyone online. She did that last time, too. And do you love, I missed one. Do you love your Jesus deep down in your, Ava. Oh, she's still sleeping. Deep down in my heart, do you love, do you love your Jesus deep down, everyone together, go. Deep down in my heart. All right, next one. My life is in you. When we say life, what do we do? All right, everyone follow after me. Yeah. Okay, Tarin, can you follow after me? Why are you sitting, you lady? You wonderful lady, why are you sitting? <laughs> All right, she's wonderful. All right. Okay. My strength, what do we do? Sudden, show me, what do we do? My strength. Oh, great job. My hope. Oh, wonderful. All right, here we go. All right, my life is in you. All right, we'll start from the, uh, we'll start from the chorus, and I'll praise you with all of my... And I will praise you with all of my heart. I will praise you with all of my strength. With all of my life and all of my strength. All of my hope is in you. Here we go. My life. Lord, my strength is in you. Louder, my hope is in you, Lord, in you. My life, my life is in you, Lord. My str strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord, in you. It's in you. I will, I will praise you. With all of my heart, I will praise you with all of my strength, with all of my heart, and all of my strength, all of my hope is in you. I want to hear you all my life. Is in you, Lord, my strength. Is in you, Lord, my hope. Is in you, Lord, in you. It's in my life, my life. Is in you, Lord, my strength. Is in you, Lord, my hope. Is in you, Lord, in you. Wonderful, my life, my life. Is in you, Lord, my strength. Strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you. One more time, my life, my life. Life is in you, Lord, my strength. Strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you. It's in you, in you, it's in you. In you, it's in you, it's in you. Amen. All right. 
some of you guys have like a sp- like a point zero one percent like miss time, right? It's like my life. Oh, I missed. No, no. <laughs> but we're getting there. All right, we'll do one more. Okay, we'll have some fun. Okay, <laughs> making melodies in my heart. I want you guys to all stand. All right, who do you guys want up here? I'll let you guys choose. Caleb, you want to come and help me? All right. Isaiah, do you want to come help? Yeah? Tudin, come help your brother. Okay. All right, Miss Wonderful. Isaiah, you can come up. No? Okay, that's fine. All right, let's do it together. Making melody. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Thumbs up. All right. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Thumbs up. Elbows out. Feet apart. Knees bent. Oh, you got to get down lower, man. All right, here we go. One, a two, a one, two. Here we go. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. To the king of kings. Thumbs up. Elbows out. Feet apart. Knees bent. Bowed out. Head bent. Turn around. All right, one, a two, a one, two. Here we go. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. To the king of kings. Addy, this is not turning around. This is what Addy's doing. I don't know what you're doing, Addy. What is that? What? That's not turning around. Lydia, show your sister how to turn around. Thank you. All right, here we go. Thumbs up. Elbows out. Feet apart. Knees bent. Butt out. Head bent. Turn around. There you go. Last one, tongue out. All right, we made a deal. We're going to actually try to sing it with our tongue out this time. Okay? So you got to sound like good. Right? Making melodies in my heart. Okay? All right, one, a two, a one, two. Here we go. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Wonderful job. All right, you guys can all sit down. Oh, no. Next time, Isaiah. All right, let's sing one last one together, okay? Let's bless one another, okay? You are blessed. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you his amazing, wonderful peace. All right, guys? Let's praise this last one together. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Lord bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
God, we thank you so much. May we be able to hold on to the answer of only. May we be able to see nothing else but other than only Christ at this time, Lord. Uh, God, may you break down the force of darkness. May the hearts of these remnants and may the minds of these remnants uh, be guarded uh, so that only the amazing word of uh, your word of this gospel be, uh, may be able to come into their hearts, Lord. Uh, God, prepare, their, prepare all the remnants' hearts as good soil uh, so that they may be able to res, uh, receive your answers and bear the hundred, thousand, uh, million folds of blessings of evangelism and missions, Lord. Uh, bless the remnants, bless all the teachers, bless all the pastors, and truly bless this church of holy nation. We thank you for all these things. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, you rose again, you ascended into heaven, you were seated at the right hand of the Father, and shall then come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the whole universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Open up to Monday. Is everybody there? If you leave your backpack at church, how are you going to do prayer book and summit time when you're at home? Try not to just leave it at church. Like message notes too, and prayer books, and Bibles, unless you have a spare at home. Spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge, three, two, one. May you give me today the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of knowing God, having the eyes of my heart enlightened that I might know what is the hope to which you have called us, what are the riches of your glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of your power toward us who believe, according to the working of your great might. For for Venice Mission Street 1, may you open the eyes of all the people I meet so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, and be used so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Uh. Inhale. Start over. Inhale. Hold. 
Even now, the trying God is at work, always and forever. Even now, God is working by his spirit and the word, Father. Even now, the Christ is getting rid of the three curses, blessed as hell Satan, as the prophet, priest, king, and accomplished salvation, son. And even now, unseen through eyes, the Holy Spirit is working upon his spirit. If you enjoy this, exhale. Inhale. Hold. What is arising right now? Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying, invisible to your eyes, God mobilizes angels for his errands. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, you have an amazing authority. You begin to break down the back of the foul, bind Satan, break down all the forces of darkness. Exhale. Inhale. Hold that five great strengths will be made for you. Spiritual power, intellectual power, physical power, financial power, social power. Exhale. Hold. There's something more important than all of these. Not only your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit to all in your studies. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Heaven. This is our background. By the ministry of the trying God, enjoy God's kingdom here on earth. Then we'll go to heaven. Let's so wait for God's kingdom. It'll come. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. As Joseph waited, God's kingdom came. He went as a slave into prison. He was still able to wait. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Hell, we don't die and go to hell, but people are living a hellish life on earth, having the background of hell. Go to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torment their life at the end, drags people to hell. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Angels with the background of heaven, angels are ministering God's work. When you die, they usher us to heaven. Wherever you go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. This is where everything begins to be solved. I me to have a healthy spiritual state that rises full of the covenant. It's filled with the Holy Spirit always. I me to listen to the voice of God, not the words of people. Are you doing it for people? Do you depend on people? Exhale. Focus on God during worship. Don't focus on people. Inhale. Hold. Church, it's the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we get there. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, people that remnants must meet. Leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. You should be able to come to worship, ignore your friends, and then focus on God. Let's see if that takes place on Sunday. Instead of coming in and chit-chatting. Try. Focus on God, not people. 
Jesus loves you as far as his healing. What's true healing? Evangelism of missions, which is making disciples of all nations, spiritual healing, strengthening the, the discouraged, saving the future generations, receiving power through the Holy Spirit, be a witness to the very ends of the earth. Just Korean people? To the seven healing summit, when the Holy Spirit works, there was evangelism woven, find the hidden prepared disciples, God's word is fulfilled, change the field, Christ, God's kingdom, Holy Spirit, pray. Enjoy God's blessings, grace, and peace. Are we goofing around? Sippy dip. Thanks. God's promise, God's sovereignty. See it ahead of time. God's plan, world evangelization. Make it yours. Deem. I deem the deem. Covenant dream. Enjoy it ahead of time. God's image. God being with us on our covenant journey, conquer, win ahead of time. Good. Put into practice God's goal. You already finished everything. Spiritual watchman, Dr. Ambassador. Stay in the flow. This flow. That flow. This one too. That one too. And this flow. And that flow, and this flow, how flow, assurance flow, that flow, 62 flows, and that flow, oh, most important flow. No. Are you going to die? No. Then die. Christ is the head of the church. Christ is the master. Oh, today's message. Assurance of forgiveness. Assurance of Forgiveness. If you can't read it, just write forgiveness. Do you know how to write, Johnny? Okay. Just write this one. Here, Johnny. A S S U R A N C E. That's an R. If you can't spell it, just sound it out. Assurance. For John one nine. Two, one. If you confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Purify means like make us clean. What kind of sin are we talking about here? Original sin, right? Jesus life, Jesus, Jesus healing. Lesson objective, to know that only Christ can forgive all sins. Johnny, you just write only Jesus. 
No, this one right here. Only? Jesus. Oh boy. Johnny boy. Can I move on? Seven, six, five, four, three, dos, uno. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we're talking about original sin here. Forgiveness of original sin. But then there's also sins that we, we commit, right? Like when Moses was on the mountain and God gave the stone tablets, how many commandments were on those tablets? Ten, right? Like sometimes we make mistakes. We, sometimes we make sins. Like, oops, my bad, this is my bad. Like, oh, we keep changing our priority, which means we put, who's supposed to be first? Number one, God, right? But then we keep putting school first, Because we have to? What happens if you don't go to school? Technically, you could do homeschool. Did you know that? I know somebody who did homeschool until high school. All of, from born, from birth to 12th grade. And then she went cuckoo, a little cuckoo after. Going into high college, she's like, oh, freedom! And she did whatever she wanted. What? Yeah. And she got tattoos all over her body. Yeah. Oh, sometimes we put extracurricular things first, like, uh, like after school program, like tutoring. Your sister does tutoring. Uh, ice skating. Uh, Muay Thai, boxing, soccer. Oh, we put sports first or third. Because what happens if we don't do our sports and you don't go to practice? Then you get cut and you don't get to play the sport. But is that important? I mean, yeah, it could be for some people. Entertainment. We put entertainment first. What's entertainment? What we do when we relax, right? What do we do when we relax? Watch TV? Chromebook? Video game? Uh, Draw, read, practice yoga, stretching. All right, we put entertainment first. And then God comes last. Is this a sin? Yeah, God said you shall have no other gods before me, but we put, every, we put so many things before God. What else? Oh, we worship idols. Do, you, do we actually bow down to a golden statue? But then, if we put, whatever we put before God, that becomes an idol, right? Oh, we make lots of mistakes, huh? Boo-boo, we make so many boo-boo mistakes. What else? Oh, we put God's name in vain. Like, we don't care about God. No, I'm sure this will be okay. And we do, we take care of this business and then we forget about God. Or we do things forgetting that God's with us. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. What, what is this? 
Yeah, we skip worship. Skip worship. We skip church. We skip our summertime. Skip prayer journal. Skip checklist. Skip Bible reading. Is that a sin? Technically, yeah. It's part of the Ten Commandments. Also, what else? Well, we disrespect our parents. We do this all the time, huh? Is that a sin? Yeah. Like one remnant was playing with the curtains. And parents like, stop. And this remnant's like, still played. Dishonor parents. Remnant, come to the car in exactly two minutes. 23 minutes later. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, we sin against our parents a lot, huh? What else? We hurt people. Some people actually kill people. But then how about in your mind? What about in your mind? You, you kill someone in your mind or you hurt somebody in your mind. Is that still a sin? Yeah, yeah that's still murder. You murder somebody in your mind. That's a sin. Like Bonshki was, like remember part of his homework was, mm, how should I kick my brother? Hmm. He's thinking it, right? Is that a sin? Yeah, you already committed a sin. You thinking, I'm going to kick my brother. It's like the same thing as you kicking your brother. Hmm. How about oh, evil thoughts? Kick my brother. Is that an evil thought? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Cain actually did it. Yeah. He actually kicked his brother. Oh, sometimes we steal, right? Do you guys steal? Who steals? Woohoo! <laughs> Why are you raising your head? So proudly, Pancho is like, yeah. <laughs> One remnant was stealing a pencil from the church. Oh, it's just a pencil. Put that pencil back. You gotta fix that bad habit when we're little. Yeah, your jeans are stole all the time. Bad hat. Is that a sin? Yeah, no matter how small it is. Oh, lie. Do we lie all the time? Oh, did you eat today? Uh, yeah. Is that a lie? Yeah, because I, I lied. Um, no. Yeah, I just lied again. I ate a pizza. Lie, 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 lie. We lie all the time, huh? Even us, even if it's little. But, so these are sins that we commit, but then there's a sin that's not even our fault. This is, this is the scary one, yeah. So original sin, this sin is not even our fault. Because we commit sin, and if we ask for forgiveness, we were forgiven. Well, in the Old Testament, you have to sacrifice an animal but we'll get to that. Original sin is not our fault. We're born separated from God. That's not our fault. Oh, are, we're, un, we're captured by sin and curses. <gasps> sin and curses, it's like it's not even their fault. There was this, there was this, uh, this young fighter, like a boxer, and he, he went against a champion, super strong champion. And then the, the super strong champ, nobody thought that this young fighter was gonna win, and he, he went against the champion who didn't lose in like 10 years. And do you know what happened? The champion, or the champion kicked the young person's leg, and then the champion's leg broke. <laughs> And then the young boxer won. Yay! 
okay, now he became champion. And then a couple years later, do you know what happened? Now, he went into another match, and then he kicked the other person, and do you know what happened to his leg? The same thing that happened to the champion years ago. His leg broke. Is that a curse? Oh my, that's a scary curse, huh? Yeah. There was this, um, this famous basketball player, and this famous basketball player, um, his dad, all of a, I think he fell or something, and then he was in a wheelchair for all of his life. And a couple, I think it was the same year, do you know what happened? His brother, the same thing happened. Is that a curse? No, that's not cool. That's a curse. Even though it's not even their fault. Who's playing behind all that? Yeah. Don't you feel sorry for non-believers going through curses like that? Saying it's cool and it's funny. You don't feel sorry? How are you going to do evangelism if you, feel, if you think their problems are funny? And Satan, oh, oh, everybody's in Satan's hands, huh? People are spiritually dead. Yeah, like a dead among us. And then whenever Satan wants, he controls their life. Isn't that scary? I think it's scary. Oh, thank God. But, there, but Jesus came to forgive all of these sins. Even sins that we do commit. So back then, before Jesus even came, if the priest, if the high priest made a mistake or commit a sin, like in the first slide there were like 10 sins, right? 10 different types of sins. If the high priest commit a sin, do you know what, he, what God told him to do? He needs to get a, oh, okay, oh no. He needs to get a young bull do you know what he has to do to the bull? Oh. Well, first he needs to put his hands on the bull so that the sins go to the bull. And then, dead. He has to kill the bull. And then put the, the bull on the, on the altar and then sprinkle the blood all around it. And then they burn it. And then, his sins are forgiven. What? Yeah, that's, that's what God commanded. Okay, what, if, what if, about the Israelites? If they commit a sin, do you know what they have to do? No, they also have to bring a bull and do the same thing. But the priest has to do it for them. Yeah. Okay, what about a leader? If a leader commits a sin, no, not same thing. The leader has to bring a male goat, a boy goat, and then same thing, hand, and then kill, and then blood. And if one person commits a sin, one person, they bring a female goat, hand, kill, blood. That's, that's, that was God's rule to forgive sins back then. Aren't you glad we don't have to do this? I know, there will be so much blood. Blood. But then that's, that's forgiveness of sins. But thankfully, Christ came and he suffered and died on the cross, shed his blood once and for all. And he had to be, so when they get the animals, it needs to be perfect. Like, it can't have a bald spot on its butt then it's not perfect. But Jesus came not or only through Mary, right? Which means he's not dirty. He's not, he's not unclean because he's not born with original sin. And then he had to be baptized, receive the Holy Spirit, just like the hand on the bull. Oh, he had to shed his blood like the bull and the goat and the lamb. 
And then he had to resurrect. When he resurrected, all original sin was solved spiritually. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Because while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that's the only way to meet God again. Wow. All right, speaking of sins. Story time. All right, so there's Jesus. Jesus was in town. And then the Pharisees invited Jesus for dinner, dinner time. You're invited. Did Jesus go to this dinner party? Yeah, he's like, okay, let's go. And then at the dinner party, I guess they didn't have chairs or anything? So they laid down. I guess this is how they ate back then. So they were reclining at the table like this, with their feet dangling off. I guess that's how they ate. They look really comfortable. Don't they do this in Korea? They put a table on the bottom, and they sit on the floor. But this looks better, like sofa, cushions. Okay, anyways, there was this crazy lady, this sinful woman, who was a real troublemaker. Wherever she went, she was a troublemaker. Check it out. Fire! She would lie, she would steal, she would do so many bad things. Oh my gosh! So she's so sinful, right? She, she keeps making mistakes. But then she found out, wait, Jesus is in, in town? So, did she, so she decided, okay, I'm going to bring my most expensive perfume jar. It was made out of alabaster. It kind of look, it looks expensive, huh? Like marble, maybe even more expensive. Fancy. Oh, by the way, the rule back then was woman needs to stay six feet from men. Because you're woman, man, woman, man. Because women were below men. So I guess they were following coronavirus protocol back then too. So she was determined, she brought her perfume jar and went to the Pharisee's house. Wait, isn't she supposed to stay six feet apart from men? And there's full of men in that house. What do you think she did? Did she just ask politely, can I please go in? No, she was bold. <laughs> Why, because she was so determined to meet Jesus. So she came to Jesus, and all the men are like, wait a second, what is this crazy lady doing here? <laughs> and, then Jesus, and then the woman went to Jesus, who was reclining at the table with his feet dangling off. And here's what she did. Oh, she got down to Jesus' feet. And she, she kept crying, crying on Jesus' feet, dirty feet. Do they have Nike back then? Reebok? No, no, they had sandals. And then it's dirty. And the, the dust goes inside of the sandal. Remember your remnants were playing in the, the softball field? That was the ground back then. And Yeah. So whenever they enter a house... There's usually a servant who washes the guest's feet. But then nobody washed Jesus' feet. So she came and she was crying on Jesus' feet and washed it. With her hair. Not only that. She started kissing it's probably really salty because of the tears and the hair, the dandruff. 
the hair oil, the, the dirt, and the toe fungus. <sighs> and then the Pharisees and the, the men who are gathered there are like, oh, what is she doing? She's a sinful lady. And then they start gossiping amongst themselves. Oh, if, if he really was a prophet, then, sh then Jesus should know that she's a sinner. She's a really bad lady. And then Jesus heard, knew what they were talking about. And then Jesus told this story. So there was a person lending money, a money lender. And then there was two really poor people So one of them borrowed 500 of these silver coins because one silver coin could buy, I think it was like 12 sacks of grain. But he borrowed 500 of them. And then this guy borrowed 50 of these silver coins. There's no way they could pay it back. They were too poor. So... The money lender said, you know what, all right, canceled. You don't have to pay me back. And then Jesus asked, all right, Pharisee, which one, tweedledee, tweedledum, would be more thankful, 500 or 50? Yeah, the 500, because it's way more, right? And the Pharisee is like, oh, the first one. And Jesus is like, yeah, you're right. And then he said, you, you Pharisees are kind of like the second person, the 50. You weren't as thankful. When I came into your house, you didn't even wash my feet. You didn't give me water to wash my feet. You didn't give me a kiss to greet me. You know how like in... In Europe, they do the kiss on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't pour oil on my head. Because oil, I guess, is really good for your head. Yeah, that's what they did back then. Because they didn't have hair wax or gel or shampoo. I don't know if they had shampoo or conditioner. So they used oil. But expensive oil, not like vegetable oil. But then, this lady, the sinful woman, is like the one who had 500 silver coins canceled. Because what did she do? She washed Jesus' feet with her tears. Didn't stop kissing Jesus' feet. And also poured the perfume on the feet to make it smell nice. So which, which person do you think was more more thankful this guy or the lady yeah the lady because she had many many sins right and she knew that her original sin was taken care of so she was so thankful but then the pharisee did he really know about original sin no that's why he wasn't that thankful Because the Pharisee was, uh, he didn't really know about original sin. That's why he was only a little thankful. And Jesus turned to the, the woman and says, oh, your faith saved you. No, you can go in peace. Are you remnants thankful? You'll be thankful if you really understand what original sin is, right? And then the Pharisee started rolling his eyeballs. Who does this guy think he is? What are you, like God who can forgive people? So did the Pharisee know who Jesus was? Uh, video time. Jesus was 
was on earth. He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles by calming storms. Sunday Mother's Day, thank the mommies of our church, not just your mama. I have a blessed form time. May the Lord bless y'all and keep y'all. May the Lord make his face shine upon y'all. Be grace to y'all. May the Lord make his face turn towards y'all. Give y'all peace. Jesus healing. Uh, let's see who did their homework. Did you guys think of anything during message time? Yikes, Addy. Yikes, Emma. Yikes, David. Yikes, Hajini. Oh my. Lydia. Oh my. Emma. Oh my. Teacher didn't stir. We already did that. Watch out for the crazy lady. Let's pray for Saint Martin and Tuvalu. Saint Martin, a Catholic, Tuvalu, Christian. Three, two, one. Dear God, me, bless Saint Martin and Tuvalu, so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise and shine the light of the gospel there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's put to forum. Girls with tears, Christina. Boys with moi.